Hey guys and girls, welcome back to my channel. So I'm gonna take advantage of a nice, wonderful day for what it is in West Virginia in mid-February to do another truck review. So today we're gonna to be doing Engine 93 because it was requested in the comments section. So Engine 93 is a 1996 Pierce International. We purchased this truck used in 2014 from a department, I can't remember where. I'll look it up here in a little bit in the description. But uh, so Engine 93 is can be our first out for a structure fire. Um, this truck has tighter steering and it's a little smaller compared to Engine 94. So if we had a uh, compartment entrapments or something in a uh, smaller, tighter trailer park area, so this we'd probably roll this truck first just because they can do the same things 94 can. It's just a little smaller and it's easier to get in and out of places. So, jumping into the cab. So, to turn the truck on, this is our master for it. You then turn the ignition switch, and then it is a push to start. So, let's climb up in here. Um, so, this is what it looks like in here. You have kinds of good stuff. You have your um, gearbox, you have, we have a code 3 siren in here, it's the model, um, here's your center console, oh, this is the radio we use, I don't know why we have two radios, but we only use this radio, um, there's our pump panel, there, um, there's our lights control, we have, uh, some scene lights and the generator, stop and on switch. So this truck holds five. It's an old crew five. Um, four seats of SCBAs. And this this cab is a little tighter compared to engine 94, but you know, it still gets the job done. So it's so once the pump operator would put the pump in drive. He would come out here to his pump panel. He would pull the tank pump. He would prime it if he had to. Um, then he would pressure it up with the throttle. Then he would pull whichever discharge the firefighter pulled. Um, compared to what we like about this truck compared to the other two engines is this truck has a front um, front discharge so we can it's common known or I think the name of it is like a trash line it's what other service members refer to but so we like to use that as much as we can because it's easier to get in and out instead of having to redo the cross lace so up top here we have some suctioning so we can suction out of a porta tank or a river pool or whatever. So in our first compartment, we have um, a couple different nozzles, um, some hydro fittings. Here is our main uh, um, our main electrical panel for our scene lights and whatnot. In this compartment, we just have. In our bottle. This is our tool compartment. We have different varieties of tools in here, tools and flashlights. And got another air bottle in here. In this back compartment. So this back compartment, this is actually pretty cool. We've never used this because we don't have too many structure fires that require um, a lot of in and out rotation. But if we had a, if we were on scene of something huge and firefighters were constantly burning through bottles, um, they could come out here and they could back up this machine and someone could hook up, hook their uh, air tank up to this compressor and while the, they could refill their bottle while the firefighter could still be standing here in gear they wouldn't have to take anything off they could 
just be ready to get back and go. So it's really cool. We've used this during uh, live burns before, but we've never actually had to use it on scene. So in the back, uh, we have a blitz nozzle hanging there. Um, yeah, there's not much back here. So we have a positive pressure fan just laying back here. Um, we have, or this truck is capable of extricating with hydraulic lines. Um, that's what these are. But we were having issues with the uh, compressor, so we decided to just take the extrication tools off and put them on the rescue truck in the engine, or 94 95, because we usually never roll in this engine for car wrecks. We got two scene lights back here, one on each side. So this compartment, we have a K12 saw and chainsaw. We got another air bottle station or compartment there. Um, in here, we just have a fire extinguisher. Here we got some just flashlights. Yep, flashlights. Another compartment for an air bottle. So this is our medical compartment for this truck. I'll start from bottom to top. Here's the hydrant basket we talked about in my last video with engine 94. All of our engines have hydrant baskets. They, if uh, the firefighter needs to catch a fire hydrant, he's going to grab this basket and he's going to do what he needs to do to hook up the hose line. Um, got a salvation tarp down there, first out bag. We got some O2 in here, breathable oxygen for patients, some AED, some medical gloves, surgical collars. I'm not sure what kind of blanket this is, fire blanket. Um, can't think what these are right now. Got the chin straps and head box. And we got some stuffed animals for the kids. Um, here we have a pig head axe hangs here. So to lower our ladder down to us, we would flip the switch in the truck, and then we use this control panel out here to have the ladder lowered to us, just like engine 94 setup. Here we just have an intake and some outlets. For some discharges. Um, got a couple spanner wrenches right there. And that, I mean, that pretty much sums it up for this truck. But you got the two cross legs on each side. And, I mean, yeah, we use this truck a decent amount for if we have uh, fires and, like I said, you know, the trailer parks or, or what we call the valley. It's a common structure fireplace for abandoned structures, a little rundown community in Wark County, but um, we usually roll this truck for our vents down there, so well, she's nice and reliable, so just like the rest of our apparatus compared to, uh, so something also good about this truck compared to others, um, it has a, I think this is greater for 15,000 pounds, so this winch here. Rescue truck and brush trucks have winches too. It's just you don't typically see winches on an engine. Um, I kind of wish this truck had extrication. We could run extrication tools off of it. Um, because this truck's really good to run at night. And the reason why you'd want to run a truck like this compared to our engine 94 is because of this giant hunk of steel. Um, around here, we live in a rural community, so we always have a lot of wildlife on the move that likes to jump out in front of moving vehicles so with a, a giant push bar on a fire truck it helps with reducing a lot of damage in case something would happen to pop out so I um, appreciate y'all watching if y'all want to 
see any more videos or anything like that, please let me know. And we got a, uh, we can still do the boats, engine 91, and our side by side. I'm sure I'll probably do the boats and the side by side in the same video. We got a swift water boat and a couple tent boats back there. We can talk about. There's some equipment on that, so appreciate y'all watching.